Hi guys and welcome to JTEC WP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to move a WordPress site using the Duplicator plugin. I've got a client that's got an old site and I'm replacing it with a brand new site that I've built on a demo server. For this tutorial we've got the live site and the demo site. Here's our old site which we're going to be replacing and here is a new site which I've just made using Elementor so it looks uh, a lot better than the old one. The first thing you want to do is go into the dashboard on your new site, go to plugins, add new and do a search for duplicator and it's this one here, it is duplicator WordPress migration plugin, you can see it's got really good reviews so 1 million active installations, over the 2000 good reviews, so I press install now Wait a few moments while it's installing. We activate it and then we're going to go to Duplicator, Packages and this is where we're going to create a package. So I go Create New. You can name it whatever you want. I just leave it on the default setting. Press Next. And what it's going to do now is just check that you, you've got enough resources to build the file. So I tick the checkbox here. Do you want to continue? Continue with build process. Yes. I press build. It'll take a few moments because what it's doing, it's compressing all the files into a zip file and it's making a copy of the database. So just be patient. It's nearly done. As soon as it's done, we're going to press the download button. Our database and zip file are now created. Click on the installer and the archive to download the files. It's downloading. Once your files have downloaded, just log out of the new site on the demo server. So we don't need that one anymore. Now what we're going to do on the old site, which is the one we're going to be replacing, I'm just going to go into the cPanel. Once you've logged into the cPanel, I'm going to go into File Manager and then we want to go into public HTML and what we want to do is delete all of these files and this is removing the old site so I select all of these I leave CGI bin in place because that's not part of WordPress and then I press delete skip and move to trash confirm that's removed our old site so if I have a look on here there you can see the old site has now disappeared because we deleted the files. We go to upload and we're going to look for the files we just downloaded. I have a look at my downloads folder. So I'm looking for the installer.php and that file there. So if I go for the zip file first, because that's going to take the most time, then go select the installer.php. So what it's doing now is it's uploading your new site files onto the original site. While it's doing this, we can now go and create a new database. I go back into cPanel, databases. I'm going to delete the old database so there's no, uh, no chance of it getting confused. Here's our old database, delete that. Are you sure you want a permanent delete? Yes, delete database. And you'll also have a database user as well. So I will go down to current users, delete the current user, press go back. So we now see that current databases, there's nothing in here. Our next step is going to be go back to the cPanel. This is the easiest way to do it. Is go MySQL database wizard, and this will walk you through it step by step. I click on MySQL database wizard. I'm going to give my database a name. And make sure that when you're doing this, that I recommend having a notepad on screen and I would have it, call it the database, username, have one for the password, and you can paste your details in below these. So I press next step. We create a user, go to password generator, 
I prefer going to advanced options, setting it to 18, as this gives you a stronger password. I've copied this password to a safe place, use password, and press create user. The next step is it will show you your username and database. Tick all privileges, next step, and that's it, that's your database created. Once your files are both showing 100%, you can close this window, open the live site URL, then click on installer.php, set up, we can see all the archives successfully detected, validation, permissions pass, options, I've read and accept all terms and conditions, next. This is where you need to paste in your database settings, such as database, username and password. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. As soon as you've added your details, test the database and it should light up green. OK, requirements have passed, notices are good. I press next, OK. On the third step, this is where you could add another admin account to your WordPress website. I'm going to go next because I'm going to use my existing one. Press next. OK, so we're on to the final step, which is admin login. So it says login to WordPress admin to finalize this stall. Auto delete installer files after login, which basically means it's going to delete the zip file and the installer file. I click admin login. So that's taking us to our normal WordPress. But if I also open up our live URL in a new tab, I should see the brand new site. Okay, happy days. So our new site is live and it's all working. I highly recommend that you check all your pages, make sure there's no images missing, all the pages are working correctly. So having a, a quick skim through now to check everything. It's all looking good so far. In WordPress, as soon as you log in, you should now be able to see that it's removed all the files. We can also check by going to our file manager, press go, and it will look like a normal install of WordPress, so you shouldn't see any installer files or configs or zip files in there. So that's worked perfect. We can log out of the file manager. Go to our dashboard. Your new site is good to go. When you're checking your pages, if you see a blank area where an image should be, the way to fix it, one option, we'll minimize this, is you go to Elementor Tools, Regenerate Files, Sync Library, and we'll try refreshing it now and see if our images are there. And there we go, our images are back. That's a quick way of fixing your site if some of the files you think most of them are working but the odd one or two are grey like we've just seen, that's how you fix it. That's how you move a site using Duplicator. If you like this please leave a comment below, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.